is a part 2 video of the white matter here we are going to talk about only the internal capsule so in the first video I started with the cerebral cortex so cerebral cortex you have the frontal lobe you have the parietal lobe you have the occipital lobe and you have the temporal lobe from all the lobes the fibers are coming down they are going to the spinal cord as well as to the uh, subcortical areas called red nucleus substantia nigra and corpus striatum so everywhere the fibers are going so all the fibers are coming down in a narrow path that is the important projection fiber so the third one uh, white fibers you have retinous commissural uh, fiber associated fiber now we are talking about the projection fiber the most important projection fiber is your internal capsule that's the first point you are supposed to write the most important the largest projection fiber is your internal capsule so this is how the entire area is crowded by the descending fibers not only with the descending fibers ascending fibers are also going through this way ascending fibers means from where it is coming from the thalamus from the thalamus the fibers are coming that is your sensory fibers are going to the cerebral cortex to the sensory area so everywhere these fibers are getting accumulated in this narrow path it is called as or it is known as internal capsule right so now we have written we have done the internal capsule so hope you understood what is internal capsule that is the area next to the cerebral cortex this is your cerebral cortex from the cerebral cortex the fibers are coming in a radiating way it is called as corona radiator and this from the corona radiator the fibers are going to uh, through a path narrow path called as internal capsule so i'm going to draw the internal capsule internal capsule uh, how to draw so first um, you have to draw like this hmm? okay you have an anterior limb you have a bend called genu this is anterior limb genu and a posterior limb and down you have the retro lentiform part what is this part retro means behind retro lentiform part another one part is called as sub lentiform part what is this called dotted thing i have drawn here is sub lentiform part now here i have to draw the nucleus called caudate nucleus and here i have to draw the nucleus, thalamus and here since it is a lens shaped nucleus it is called as lentiform nucleus what is this nucleus lentiform nucleus so the lentiform nucleus is laterally placed and the caudate nucleus and the thalamus are medially placed so now first point you have to write the parts of the internal capsule anterior limb genu posterior limb and the retro lentiform part and the sub lentiform part five parts you are supposed to write then you have to write the relations the anterior limb lies between the caudate nucleus and the lentiform nucleus and the posterior limb lies between the lentiform nucleus and the thalamus and what about the genu genu lies between the anterior limb and the posterior limb and behind the posterior limb you have the retro lentiform part B below the posterior limb you have the sub lentiform part these are the relations so we have written the parts you have written the relations so first thing you have to return the parts number two you have written the relations medially laterally and then third you have to write what are the fibers are crossing inside why what are the fibers are coming down and what are the fibers are ascending up okay so we'll do a nice tablet column here about the fibers ready so first you have to write a anterior limb and then you have to write about the genu and then you have to write about the posterior limb and then you have to write about the retro lentiform part and you have to write about the sub lentiform part okay now what you are supposed to do is very important one here you have drawn the thalamus right so in the thalamus you have to draw this <coughs> medial geniculate body and here you have to draw the lateral geniculate body this retro lentiform retro means posterior which lobe is posteriorly placed occipital lobe so occipital lobe is for what vision so the visual fibers are going from the retro lentiform part to the lateral geniculate body and then what happens to the medial geniculate body this is called lateral geniculate body and this is called medial geniculate body if the lateral geniculate body is for the vision the medial geniculate body is for the auditory fibers so auditory fibers are going through the sub lentiform part to the medial geniculate body already you know about the superior colliculus and the inferior colliculus superior colliculus is for the vision so it will select the lateral geniculate body inferior colliculus is for the hearing so it will select the medial geniculate body this is all mcqs okay it's very important 
and then next thing is we are going to draw the tabular column right okay now number one what are the fibers are coming so anterior limb is in the front so which fiber you are expecting <coughs> pronto pontane every fiber all the fibers are going to the pons so the fibers coming from the cerebrum cortex everything is going down to the pons from the pons the fibers are going to the cerebellum and fibers uh, are from the cerebral cortex straight to the spinal cord it is called corticospinal fibers fibers going to the pons are called corticopontine fibers right so two fibers are going along with that you have some other fibers called corticonuclear fibers I already i have explained in the first video uh, each cranial nucleus should have some connection with the cerebral cortex so these fibers are called corticonuclear fibers along with that you have the subcortical fibers also from the cortex to the red nucleus corticorubral cortex to the substantia nigra corticonitre uh, cortical to the striate corticostriate all these fibers are going not only corticospinal corticopontal cerebellar fibers corticorubral fibers corticonigral fibers and the corticostriate fibers all of them are going so they will select each row like a toll gate we have five areas so what are the fibers are going through this way and what are the fibers are selecting this way uh, and what are the fibers are going this way like that you should know this is motor fibers or descending fibers what are all coming down these are all called ascending fibers or sensory fibers understood and then blood supply that's all i say over so first is front frontopontane frontal so it is going this way and then what about the retro retro means i said it is back posterior posterior means occipital lobe is there so occipital pontine fibers are going here sub means below below which lobe is there temporal lobe is there understood so below which lobe is there temporal lobe is there posteriorly occipital lobe is there so retro for the okay temporal pontine and you can write your parieto pontine here too parieto pontine fibers right okay and then here you have to write you can fill up frontopontine as well as here also you can write frontopontine because your peritopontine occipitopontine fibers are coming here along with that i said corticospinal fibers which this is the dangerous limb the posterior limb is very dangerous because it is only more prone for stroke so all the fibers stroke means one side upper limb and one side lower limb is paralyzed so limb i have told so here only you have to write corticospinal fibers of upper limb lower limb and trunk are traversing corticospinal fibers of upper limb lower limb trunk and then second is i said the extra pyramidal fibers extra pyramidal fibers means who your corticorubral and corticostriate i said no subcortical fibers all these fibers are going through this route only so frontopontane corticospinal fibers of upper limb lower limb and trunk and extra pyramidal fibers all are traversing in the posterior limb that's why if there is any loss of blood supply to this area the entire thing will be gone understood we'll see in the clinical anatomy and then genu genu is there anterior limb is there anterior limb nothing is there only frontopontine but the genu you have your corticonuclear fibers are going through the genu corticonuclear fibers are going through the genu that's all we completed the motor tracts now we are going to the sensory tracts from the thalamus all the sensations are going to the sensory area what are the fibers anterior limb means which thalamic radiation anterior thalamic radiation and then uh, uh, this one retro means i said behind posterior so which thalamic radiation posterior thalamic radiation never put posterior to posterior right and then sub means below inferior thalamic radiation so who uh, miss missing here anterior is there posterior is there inferior is there who is the opposite for inferior superior write it here superior thalamic radiation is here and then here also superior thalamic radiation so anterior thalamic radiation means frontal lobe it is going to the kind of the anterior end of the frontal lobe cortex and here superior thalamic radiation means uh, frontal and the parietal lobes it is going this and all and then this retro means optic radiation optic radiation retro means op 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 occipital lobe so which radiation op optic radiation and this is sublentiform means auditory so you have to write as auditory radiation ok 
okay very simple so anterior you have put anterior and genu you have put uh, here superior and retro means posterior so posterior means occipital lobe occipital means optic radiation and sub means inferior temporal lobe so auditory radiation and the blood supply last last part anterior means anterior cerebral artery a striated branch of anterior cerebral artery is called recurrent artery of hubner and then genu gets its blood supply straight from the internal carotid artery and the posterior lobe is very dangerous that artery is called artery of cerebral hemorrhage that is called as charcot's artery the charcot's artery artery of cerebral hemorrhage and it is called as charcot's artery it is a branch of middle cerebral arteries lenticular striate branch very important if you don't write you will not give marks lenticulo striate branch that is called as lenticulo striate branch and uh, last one is retro lentiform part is behind no so posterior cerebral artery and the sub lentiform part anterior choroidal artery so these are the artery blood supply to the uh, internal capsule and last the clinical application i have already told you which artery is named as artery of cerebral hemorrhage that is the uh, charcot's artery if there is any lesion or any hemorrhage of the middle cerebral artery the posterior limb will be injured so posterior limb uh, if it is gone what are the fibers will be going out corticospinal fibers of upper limb and lower limb so what will happen you will be having the hemiplegia okay hemiplegia it means one side upper limb opposite side upper limb and lower limb is paralyzed and second extra pyramidal fibers are out so the paralysis will be spastic paralysis whenever you have the extra pyramidal system is gone it leads to spasticity spastic paralysis and number 3 is cortico nuclear fibers so if it is gone it is in the genu so these two are very important features of the stroke that is your cerebral uh, hemorrhage so this clinical application you are supposed to write for stroke the um, supply the posterior limb the spastic paralysis of the opposite side of the body involvement of pyramidal and extra pyramidal fibers of the upper limb lower limb and trunk uh, if the uh, second is involvement of recurrent artery of hubner it means from the anterior cerebral artery if it is paralyzed face and upper limb of the opposite side will be affected and cortico nuclear fibers of the genu is also affected because genu is also getting its blood supply from the anterior cerebral or from the internal carotid both okay so if anterior cerebral artery is gone you should keep it in mind sorry i forgot to add one more point here cortico spinal fibers of upper limb lower limb and trunk we have written so in the genu you have to write cortico spinal fibers of head and neck okay only head and neck area will be affected so this thing head and neck means what face okay will be affected in the anterior spinal artery so internal carotid artery as well as anterior cerebral artery understood so this tabular column is very important you have to write completely about this lesion of the posterior one third of the posterior limb sublentiform retro lentiform part lead to visual and auditory disturbance so that these are the clinical applications you are you have to write for the um, internal capsule so projection fibers don't forget to write and the thalamic radiation and the motor descending tracts you are supposed to write i hope you understood thank you